So for this problem, we're given an input string and an array of pairs where each pair is an uh, index in the string. And the requirement that we need is to return the smallest string possible that can be changed to after using the swaps. And the way we swap is using the pairs that were given in the array of pairs. So for an example here, if we, we were given the string DCAB, we know that this is zero index, so it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. And the pairs that were given is 0, 3, 1, and 2. Uh, then we know we can swap the D and B. And we can also swap C and A. So once we do that, uh, we know we have to swap 0 and 3 since B is smaller than D. So the first swap is going to look like this. And similarly, we know we have to swap A and C since A is smaller than C. So the next swap is going to look like this. And we can't swap um, anymore. So this ends up being the smallest string that we can return. And we just return this. So whenever there's a something like a pair array that re relates to the input, like in this case, it's almost always that we could use uh, some sort of graph, graph-like data structure here, uh, because what this ends up being is these are sort of like edges in the graph. Uh, so it really, it almost always works out that way. So I guess what I'm gonna try to do is sort of work backwards from like what's an expected, like what's the final state for the data structure that we could use here that would be able to give us a solution. So in this scenario, we can think of it something like this, we want to end up with a data structure that we could have uh, that has like an entry like so we know that zero, these are all the components that we can swap with the zeroth elements, so we can swap it with itself, we can swap it with the third element. And for the first element in the string, we want to know, okay, we can swap it with the first element, we can swap it with itself, or we can swap it with the second element. So this might quickly look like a dictionary to you. And that's right, that's because it is. And the reason why uh, having some sort of state like this would be helpful for us is what we could do is we can grab each value in this dictionary and simply sort based, sort the characters based on the indices here. So we have this sorted in this scenario as zero and three, and we can grab the zeroth element, which is gonna be D and the third element, which is going to be B from our string, and we sort it to get B, D. And what that looks like is essentially we did a swap, and we're allowed to do a swap because we know that this dictionary held the values for all the elements that can be swapped. Uh, so once we do that, um, we can sort of merge it together with the value that we have here, which is 0 and 3. And once we merge it together, we can sort of do something like this. So B goes into the zeroth index in the string and D goes into the third index in the string. And similarly, we can do this for the second element. So for one and two, we're gonna start off with the original string, which is C and A. Once we sort these characters, we end up with A and C. And merging it with the uh, value in the dictionary, which is one and two, we're, we're going to do a similar approach where A goes into the first element in the string and C goes into the second element. So what this ends up being is that if we have like an empty array of four elements, since we've calculated that B would go into the first element, it's going to look like B like this and D goes into the third, A goes into the first and C goes into the second. And that ends up building the final string that we're looking for, where it's the smallest possible string. I just realized the right side is a bit cut off, but essentially this is what it's going to look like. Hope that was uh, already um, clear from uh, what I was talking about here. Uh, so what can we do to end up with like a dictionary that looks like this? One way that we can do it is to use the union find where we start off essentially with an array of uh, parent nodes where each element is its own parent. So in this case, we start off with the array. Uh, since we have four elements, 
each element is its own parent. So it's essentially 0, 1, 2, 3. And that means like 0 is its own parent, 1 is its own parent, 2 is its own parent, and 3 is its own parent. And what we can do is we can use the pair that we're given to uh, to run a union on, on both of them. So for example, once we do a union of 0 and 3, we essentially have the uh, the way this would look like in the parents array is it would look like this. Uh, zero is its own parent, one is its own parent, two is its own parent, but then we did a union on zero and three, so for the third element, zero is its actual parent now. And similarly, once we do union one and two, it's going to run a similar algorithm where one is its own parent, and I'm just arbitrarily choosing that the left element is going to be the parent. And for the second element, one is it's going to be its parent. And zero is the parent since we already did zero, union zero and three. So once we do that, you can sort of see how this is going to relate to our dictionary that we defined up here. We can already see the keys zero and one and the values. We're going to be able to grab that using the find algorithm. And how we could do that is once we iterate through every element in the parent here, we can simply run a find on each element. So since we know that this is, uh, let me just clear things up here. So we're going to have a parent array that ends like this. So we know this is zero index, one index, two, three. And once we run a find on zero, we know that zero is its own parent, so we return zero for that. And we have a dictionary. Uh, it's going to end up very similar to what we defined up there. That starts with zero, and it has a value of zero first. Once we run a find on one, one is its own parent in this case. It's going to have one first. And for the second one, we find that one is its parent for the second element. So we actually build it like so. And for the third one, the third element, zero is its parent. So in the dictionary, the key with zero, it's gonna have three. And once we end up with this final dictionary, we can simply run the algorithm that we discussed here to get the final result. I hope that kind of made, made sense. I think the toughest part of this question is just making figuring out how to write the union find algorithm, but um, I could do another video that goes into detail on how that works. But for now, using this, uh, let's see how we can code this up. So as we mentioned, we need an array for the parents, and it's going to start off with just each element being its own parent for each element in the string. So that's going to start like so. And we can just start with the boilerplate for the union and find we're going to need a union function and a find function. And again, if this doesn't make sense, um, once, once you have a solid understanding of how union find works, uh, reading this is super simple. And for the union, uh, we always want to find the root element like which is the parent for x, the parent for y. And if they're not the same, then we know we can connect them together. Uh, p of y is equal to p of x, px. And once we have that, let's quickly go through each pair and run a union on them as we discussed. And let's just print the final parent array just to make sure that everything looks good. Expect that to look like how we had it initially, which is 0, 1, 1, 0. Looks like we miss, miss, I mistyped this, so it's py here instead. And running this gives us uh, what we'd expect.
Now in this case, we in this step, now we want to build the actual dictionary that's going to hold it, hold the structure that we can iterate over. So in Python, we can do a default dictionary, uh, which essentially means whatever key you add, it's just going to default to an empty array. So you can keep appending to that array. So in this case, we want to iterate over each element and its index in the parent array. And we want to add this to the dictionary. So we said earlier, we want to find the elements as parent and we essentially add the index so that we end up with a structure similar to what we discussed, uh, which is going to be this. And let's just quickly make sure that that's expected. We have 0, 0, 3, 1, 1, and 2. And finally, we can just run the algorithm that goes through each of the keys. We want to get the character list. And the let's start off by getting the index list, which is essentially just the value in the dictionary. And the character list using that index list would be each element in the string for i in index list. And this is the important part is we want to sort this list for the characters. We don't necessarily need to sort this because we already, let me actually show the cursor so that it's easier to follow. So we don't necessarily need to sort this list because we already sorted. It's already sorted here since we iterate this dictionary in order. Uh, but in this case, now we can use the Python zip function so that we can build the the resulting string. And what, what zip is going to do for us is uh, let's run this one by one. And this, like for the first iteration, we're going to have the index list being 0, 3, the character list being uh, after we sort it, it's going to be bd. And once we zip it, it's going to be 0, b, a 2d array of 0, b, then 3, d. And that tells us, okay, for the resulting string, we can add it in the zeroth uh, spot, we can add b. And once that goes through each element in the dictionary, we end up with the string that we need. And we just need to have a list of uh, the string itself in this variable that we're turning. And over here, we just need to join it so we can return the string itself. Once we run that, and there you have it, we get the expected result. And this is how we can solve the smallest strings with swaps. As for the union find, I can go into more in depth, but I wanted to keep this video as short as possible. But once we understand how this works, it's, it's very simple to incorporate it in a lot of uh, graph questions.